And the final thing that we're going to do is to check situs. Now, personally, I don't really care whether the patient's situs solitus or situs inversus totalis. What I want to see is that the apex of the heart and the stomach, the apex of the heart and the stomach are both on the same side. Because if the apex of the heart and the stomach are on opposite side, then situs is ambiguous. And with ambiguous situs, the incidence of congenital heart disease is greater than 90%. So any time that we see ambiguous situs, we clearly need to send the patient for an echocardiogram, whether we can observe anything wrong with the heart or not. So again, I want to observe that the apex and the stomach are on the same side. Apex, stomach on the same side. Here we have an instance where the apex is down and the stomach is up. Apex down, stomach up. Apex down, stomach up. As soon as you observe that, you're done. That is situs ambiguous, and we need to refer for an echocardiogram. Now, I also don't need to point out to you, hopefully by now, that the diameter of these two ventricles is quite different. To be perfectly honest, because the situs is ambiguous, I don't know if that's the left ventricle or the right ventricle. Does it matter? We didn't like our comparison of diameters. We're done. We noted that the stomach and the apex were on opposite sides. We're done. We're going to refer that patient for an echocardiogram. So we've now gone through our list. I realize that it seems like a lot, but I can assure you that with practice, you can do this in 10 to 15 seconds. In fact, you can do it in under 10 seconds. Now, I am going to count out 